Hello. Welcome to this lesson on our study of partial differential equation. Okay, so in this video, I will take you through how to solve partial differential equation, especially first order partial differential equation, which is homogeneous and yeah, some with constant coefficient and others with non constant coefficient. Okay, all right, let's do it. Okay, so to start with, we had our lessons, but these are some of the examples I want to go through with you. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, kindly subscribe for more videos. Okay, we said that if you have a partial differential equation which is of the first order of this form, then what you do is you compare it to a u x plus plus b u y okay equals zero. Now we said if, if you have something like that, then what you solve the characteristic equation for this PD will be dy dx should be equal to b over a and you solve this OD to characterize the equation. This is what you use. So with this quickly we compare to that I know that your a is actually two and your b is actually three. So I have dy dx is equal to 3 over 2. Okay. And I have dy is equal to 3 over 2 dx. Now this becomes a very simple OD for you to solve. So if I integrate both sides of this equation, I'll get something like y is equal to 3 on 2. Sorry. 3 over 2 x plus some constant, let's say s. And I have 2y equals 3x plus 2s. I just multiply through by 2. And then 2 times s here is still a constant. So I have 2y minus 3x equals some constant, let's say c. Let's, say, let's call that c1. Now, if I divide through by negative 1, I get 3x minus 2y is equal to negative c1. And negative c1 is still a constant, okay? So, let me call that one c. And it says that immediately you have something like this. The solution to this whole PDE is now given as u of xy is now equal to f of c. Okay, so the solution to this question is equal to f of c where our c is what we found here okay so the solution to this pd is given by f of c is what 3x minus 2y this is very simple okay so that is how you solve for the first order pd which is homogeneous and of this type okay now let's consider another first order pd where the coefficients of uh, derivatives some of them are not constant okay here we have a to be what one okay and the value of this to be b and that is not a constant so comparing this to a normal general pd you have dy dx should be equal to b over a and b is what 2x y squared over a which is one and now i have dy should be equal to 2x y squared dx if i divide through by y squared i'll get something like dy over y squared is equal to 2x dx now i integrate both side okay when i integrate the left side the left side let, let me write this in a linear form so that you know it y negative 2 dy is equal to 2x dx okay now if i integrate both sides i'll get something like negative y negative 1 okay the reason is you just add 1 to the power which becomes negative 1 then you divide 2 by negative 1 okay it's equal to 2x squared over 2 plus some constant s okay i hope you get it now i get negative 1 over y from indices 
and this will give me s squared plus s okay so i'll get something like minus s squared minus 1 over y is equal to some s okay and if you can see you can divide through by negative 1 to get the variables in in positive form okay all right so i can say that negative s okay is equal to s squared plus 1 over y now this negative s becomes a new constant which is equal to s squared plus 1 over y and the solution to this pd is actually equal to f of c okay now f of c and now c is what s squared plus 1 over y this is very simple right so this is the solution to this pd here once you have a homogeneous first order pd no matter how the coefficients are you don't have a problem okay especially of this form okay now let's look at the other type okay so if i have this type well this is of three times okay what do i do what you can do is simply compare these two a u x plus b u y plus c u is equal to zero okay now find dy dx should be equal to the same b over a and you solve for this okay all right so let's quickly solve for this one comparing this to what i just wrote we always know that the coefficient of ux is what our a and coefficient of ui is our b so simply let me write it for dy dx to be equal to the coefficient of u i is 3 is just b over a so this implies i have dy equals 3 over 2 dx okay our uh, y is equal to 3 on 2 x plus some s okay i have 2 y equals 3 x plus some s okay i have um, 2 y minus 3 x because s have my s equals negative 3x okay 3x minus 2y i just divided through by negative one and this is still a, a characteristic equation that characterizes this formula or this this partial differential equation okay now using only this wouldn't work for us this time but what we can say is that let's find an additional um, line that can characterize this pd okay and this additional line we just choose this we will just choose it okay so let's choose it by saying that we should choose tau being equal to just x then we have this one here as being equal to 3x minus 2y always this will work okay always this will work okay now whenever you have something like this okay once i have something like this it's very very simple for me to go by it and then one thing i have to do is i have to find my ux in terms of tau and s okay so i'll have something like the u the tau dot the tau dx okay this is from chain rule and plus the u dx okay times the s the x this will give me the tau the s is one so i have u tau plus the s the x is what three u s and i have something like u y is also the same thing okay now the tau the u the tau times the tau the y and that will give me zero the tau the y tau does not depend on y okay so i'll get zero for that so that's zero plus then the u d s which is u s times the s d y and that is negative two okay negative two u s now i come back to my p d e this is my u x okay and i put u x and u y into this whole equation back again okay into this time in terms of what tau and s okay so let me write it quickly here 
for us to see it properly. Okay. So I have my PD is two into u x is that u tau plus three u s okay plus three into u y which is negative two u s plus eight u equals zero. Now I have two u tau plus six u s minus six u s plus 8u equals 0. Now this can take this out. Now I'll be left with only the tau components, okay? So I'll get something like um, u tau okay, plus 2u tau plus 8u equals 0. I'll get u tau okay, u tau plus 4u equals zero now this become very simple ODE for me to solve okay so now my integrating factor here is what um, the integrating factor is e to the power integral of four d tau okay and this will give me e to the power four tau okay now I just multiply it through this and we said earlier that the whole of this PD we change to since we are using integrating factor, we are just using an idea in ordinary differential equation. And in that, when you are using the integrating factor, what you do is you multiply e to the power four tau to the whole of the right side and the left side of your equation. Okay. So you go to zero times that now get zero. Okay. So if you consider what you've written in our left side carefully okay let me expand it so that you understand more because if i just do it like this maybe you might not understand so you get e to the power e to the power four tau u tau plus four u e to the power four tau plus zero now if you consider this clearly okay this is as if you are differentiating the product the product of these two functions just try to differentiate this and you get the same thing as this so the whole of this equation tends to something like this okay now i'll get an equation of this form okay let me use the red point i'll get if i multiply through by the tau i'll get d of let me write the word d of u e to the power 4 tau is equal to 0 d tau okay so i'm to just solve this simple um, integral equation here that i have and this will give me my final answer okay now if i integrate both sides with respect to the corresponding independent variables the um, left side is being integrated with respect to what let me use a white pen on all, all these so when i integrate this i'll get i'll still get e to the power four tau i integrate zero i'll get a constant but then this u depends on both tau and s so i'll get a constant g of s okay so my u of s comma tau is now equal to dividing through by e to the power four t and i'll get e to the power negative 4 tau g of s so now i just come to my equation and put all my equation all my listen uh, my variable goes back x y now will be equal to what is my tau my tau is equal to x so i'll get e to the negative 4 x then g of my s is what 3 x minus 2y okay now this is a general solution to this question okay mind you this method was just method of characteristics okay someone might have used a different method as method of coordinates change of coordinates and the person might have gotten a different general solution to this but if you have been given initial conditions all our particular solutions will be the same all right thank you and don't forget to subscribe